What's up, everybody? Grid by Guru here. And tonight, today, wherever you are at, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you um, and talk a little bit about the difference between a grid and a reverse grid bot. Okay. And so what I've done is I have, it's, I've, I've got both charts up and I'm going to try to make it as easy as I can because I have realized that the reverse grid is like this hidden gem that people don't really know about. I don't feel like, especially whenever it comes to, um, uh, being able to accumulate coins. They, they look at a reverse grid and say, okay, the only way I'm going to make money is if it goes down. Well, that's not the case really. Okay. And I'm going to show you kind of how it ends up working. So, um, forgive me because I cannot figure out how to, uh, lock the lock both charts to where they do the exact same thing. Um, but we're still going to get into it and we're still going to make it work. If you are not familiar with a reverse grid or a grid bot, it's probably because you're not with PineX. Join PineX. Click the link below, okay? 0.05% trading fee. They have um, amazing bots. They're, the bots work. You have to have patience, but they work. Um, and, you know, the community and Discord is is really really starting to take off it is amazing the the community and telegram um it's pretty good watch out for people who are uh trying to get you to give out personal information or sensitive information okay telegram's got a lot of scammers I'm not gonna lie but pinex has this real tight knit community everybody tries to help everybody out it's it's amazing so um if you're not part of it, don't don't get caught sleeping on Pinex. It's it's great. Okay, click the link below. Send me a DM. Send me a message somehow, some way. Telegram, Pi, uh, Discord, and just say, hey, I signed up with your referral link, and I will help you get started today with a trading bot. Okay, without any more wait. Let's go ahead and let's get started. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about a, re, or a, a grid, a grid bot. Okay, so I'm going to bring this chart up. And I'm going to do what I usually do, and I'm going to chart it up. So um, the first thing actually I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text right here, and I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to say regular grid bot, okay? And I know that it's way up there. I don't know if I can move it. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I'm going to put it right here, and that's going to kind of be our regular grid bot. So as you guys know what most of you probably know what a regular grid bot is, a regular grid bot is going to be a bot that buys and sells on the way up, okay? And this is a very, very quick and um, rough idea for a, for me just charting ADA up. Please do not take this as what I would trade it. I am, again, I'm just doing a very quick and dirty run and version of this. So I'm gonna get rid of these lines. All right, so I, I do zone-to-zone zone trading. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos, check out my zone-to-zone zone trading um, videos in uh, some of the other videos that I've posted. That is how I run my zone-to-zone zone trading. So what I would do is with a regular grid buy, I would go ahead and I would set up my grids and I would get about, I would get about probably... 30 or 40 or 0.3 or 0.4 percent up to one percent per grid and i don't know what that's going to be based on um how far this is but i would do um i would do probably 150 
as a low. So I'll do about right there and I'll adjust it real quick. So 150 as my low. And then I'm looking over here and I'm saying, oh, we got a top up here. I think that we're going to go ahead and let's see what we can get. So we're at 233. I would say I would go to, I would go 240. That looks like a good area. Nice, even number. So I go 240. I know it's a little bit above, but again, these are areas and you don't really want to get caught slipping on an area. So a grid, a regular grid bot, what is going to do is it is going to buy low and sell high throughout this higher limit and this lower limit. So the upper and lower limit, it's going to buy and sell. Here is your um, safety nets, okay? So if I put a stop loss right there, and I'll change it. I'll change it to red. A stop loss right there. And then I put a take profit right there at the very top. And we'll do, no, I don't want that color. That's too close to red. We'll do a purple for a take profit. That means that as soon as that price hits one of those two lines, it will automatically convert your holdings into usdt okay which it sounds great you know you go to the very top you um you get all of your holdings and then it drops back down wonderful it's 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 really it's a very very good starting bot okay so go down here personally with a regular coin i don't use a stop loss um, and that's just me personally, like, especially like something with ADA, I've got a lot of faith in ADA. If I'm going to go in on ADA, even if it goes down to 50 cents, I'm probably going to keep holding because I know that at some point it's going to pass whatever I entered it in. It's going to keep going up just because it's, it's, and this is again, do your own research. This is my personal opinion. Um, it's got a good, good foundation. It's a good, solid coin. So I feel like any any buys here is worth holding, even if it suddenly tanks way down. Um, anyway, so it's going to go down. It's going to buy, 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 buy. It'll hit down here. It'll stop buying if it goes down past the lower limit. It'll start selling once it comes starts coming back up. If it goes past this purple line, that's your take profit. If it goes past that purple line, it has taken as much profit as it can. It has sold all of your coin and converted that into USDT. Okay. It will close your bot down. Same way with stop loss. It will close your bot and it will convert everything into USDT. Okay. I'm going to say that again. A regular grid bot, a take profit, and a stop loss will convert everything you have into USDT, okay? All right, now let's get into the hidden gem, okay? Oh, good, they, they synced up, all right? I'm gonna come over here. Now, I'm gonna change this to reverse. Very screwed bot. All right. Guess what? It does the same thing. It buys low and it sells high. So as it's coming down, it's going to buy, 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 and sell, 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 sell as it comes back up. So it's buying lower, it's selling high. So even if your even if your coin is starting to pump, it's still going to buy low and sell high. Here is the difference. The difference is at this point right now, so, and I know that it's not going to be perfect because I'm going to talk a lot. I'm going to put a line right there and that is going to be a, we're going to make it a, we're going to make it a black line. At that black line, 
if you have 100 USDT, you are going to buy in 100% as, well, not 100%, as much as you can with that USDT, as much as you can to be able to sell this right here, okay? So you're gonna go all the way in. Um, you're actually gonna end up having to buy probably some ADA if you are not already holding some. Now, here's the other side of it. It's also going to end up having you sell some, okay? So you are going to have to buy some of the coin, all right? It, and again, it works just like a regular grid, but you're going to have to buy some of the coin because it's my understanding that the fees are in that coin. So on a normal grid, you are going to have fees in USDT. You're probably already holding USDT because that's the, that's the, um, the coin you're using to trade, not ADA. With a reverse grid, it wants you to hold the ADA, and so you're getting some fees in ADA in order to trade it. So that's one difference. The other difference is this take profit up here and the stop loss down here. They're actually going to be switched. Okay, so your take profit will actually be high and your, sorry, your take profit will be low. Your stop loss will be high. Okay, so down here is actually going to end up being your take profit and up here will be your stop loss. Now, here is the hidden gem, okay? As you are going down, so say this is going down, it is going to buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high. However, when you stop this bot, whether it's with a um, stop loss or a take profit, it is going to convert as much as it can into ADA or whatever coin you're running this reverse bot on. So for example, let me make sure I can do it, okay? So say this starts going down and I'm like, ooh, okay, I'm gonna bring my stop loss down some. And I'm following it down, I'm following it down, I'm following it down, I keep going, keep going, keep going. Say we get to where, let me see if I can't make a little line here, hopefully I can make a little line. Yeah, maybe we're down in here, okay? And that's where the price of ADA is. So I can bring my stop loss down, and that price is either going to hit this take profit, which is below because we're running, again, we're running a reverse grid, or it's going to hit my stop loss. Now, here's the thing. When it does, you are going to stop the bot and you are converting it all into, so if you have 100 bucks, it's gonna take all of your $100 and convert it into ADA. So even, even wherever you haven't gotten to yet, it's still gonna convert it into ADA. So you could be stuck holding $100 of ADA and then all of a sudden it shoots up. So if you are looking to hold a coin or if we are, for example, and no one 100% knows if we're in a bull market. A lot of people are speculating. However, personally, I'm looking at this going, ooh, we may get to a double top up here. We're coming up to a weekend. We're basically on the weekend. I bet Sunday we dump. So I could run a reverse grid and follow it down so I could accumulate more coin for a cheaper price. But at the same time, you're still buying low and selling high. So you're doing the exact same thing as a regular grid. However, your take profit and your stop loss will automatically convert your investment into ADA or whatever coin you're wanting to hold. Okay, I know a lot of people have used it with um, XRP right now. So I got, I got, I know people who have run a reverse grid from $1 all the way down to 50 cents. However, whenever that stop loss or that take profit hits, they're taking all of that USDT and converting it into XRP. Okay. 
That is the difference. So really the difference, the big difference between the two bots, the grid bot and the reverse grid bot is the fact that with a grid bot, you are converting your stop loss and take profit into USDT. With a reverse grid bot, you're converting your stop loss and take profit into the coin you are trading. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm hoping that helped you out some. Um, I know that it does kind of get confusing. I, I challenge you. I challenge you. Go ahead and try it. If you feel like you got a coin that you are feeling very, very good about and you feel like that coin has a good positive future and you say, you know what, I wouldn't mind holding that a little bit. I challenge you to try a reverse grid. Okay, Try it. Try using a take profit, try using a stop loss. Only do it if it is going down, my recommendation. Um, but you could do it if it's going up as well. Um, so as always, everyone, I'm hoping you guys had a great week trading. I hope next week, I hope you guys have another an amazing week trading. Um, and as always, feel free to reach out. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. If you have a comment says, you know, thank you for clarifying these two things for me. Um, leave a comment below. If you like the video, like the video, give me, give me some love. Um, and as always, I hope everybody has a great week trading. I hope everybody has a great week next week trading. And I want you all to stay green. I'll talk to you next time.